I appreciate everyone being out here today um, to celebrate the uh, send-off of the class of 2017 to uh, the mountain, as we call it. Um, class of 2017 is going to be our 10th Leadership Prince William class, and that is a milestone. This is our 10th anniversary year in Leadership Prince William. What we're going to be doing this year, throughout the year, and culminating at the end of the year with our Evening of Excellence Gala in June, is celebrating our legacy, celebrating our success, recognizing people that founded Leadership Prince William and supported Leadership Prince William through this 10 years. Uh, this class that's coming on board is going to be able to ride that wave right through their whole program this year, and you're really in for a treat. Uh, Kathy's already up on the mountain prepping uh, for your next couple days and uh, alums that are here in the room, alums if you could just make some noise and raise your hand. <laughs> Last weekend uh, we had a homecoming event. Uh, we, uh, we got together with Oprah's Charles Gillum who is a great supporter of Leadership Prince William and Oprah's in general has provided great food to lots of events uh, and we did a homecoming event. We had about 45 or 50 folks come out, uh, but I will tell you that that spirit of homecoming is right here in this room with this crowd that turned out this morning at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning to see this class off. Thank you all so much for being here. I just wanted to take a minute. Anyone who's ever served on the board or served as a past chair, please raise your hand. We have a bunch of board members here that are current board members, previous board members, past chairs. Uh, the, the organization is made up of the alumni, the board, and of course our paid staff, which is uh, two folks now. And I'd like to introduce Sarah Poole. Sarah, if you could just step on up here real quick. Sarah just came on board uh, in the last week or so, and uh, she's going to be full-time working with Kathy, which is going to give Kathy a lot more flexibility to get more involved in some of the things that's been uh, difficult for her to do over this summer. So welcome aboard, Sarah. You're going to be a great asset to the organization. I'd also like to thank uh, Bill James, Deb Jewell, and Marie White, and especially Mary Finnegan for pulling together the uh, reception for everybody this morning. And there are some great things to come for Leadership Prince William this year. We're going to be doing a lot of new events. Uh, please take a look. There's a card that's floating around. It's a, uh, it looks like this, if you haven't seen it. These are the main events for Leadership Prince William this year. And I'm speaking to the alumni in particular. Uh, not everybody makes it to every event, but we'll be talking about these events throughout the year. Please find one of these cards. Come up to me after this. Take a look at these dates. Look on the website. Talk to other folks involved. And we need that participation to celebrate this 10th year on these events happening, so on and so forth. A couple brand new events this year that are going to be new and exciting for Leadership Prince William, uh, setting the tone for our second 10 years. Uh, this event is always supported uh, by Howe Parish. How uh, you all met, uh, the new class has met uh, previously in the orientation down at Manassas, but how always supports the, uh, and sponsors our breakfast for this event, so I just wanted to give Hal a moment to talk a little bit about uh, his point of view. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, many of you know me, you know that I like to, one, work hard and have fun, right? So, about a check mark. Nine thousand dollars. <laughs> no. <laughs> so let me have a little fun with you all, but be serious at the same time. Close your eyes. Imagine that you're keep them closed. Imagine that you're Chuck Colvin running for city council. Now you can open your eyes. And you're asked this question, which was asked just the other night at a forum for city council. The city's 2016 key demographics report shows that our population is diverse with our citizens as follows, 46% white, 32% Hispanic, 14% black. Our city council does not reflect those demographics. You can see that I'm having fun seriously. 
What do you recommend that we do to better improve our leadership's diversity? Now, if you were Chuck Hogan, how would you answer that? Well, several of the answers were a little bit of time and it'll happen. You gotta have an open and transparent government. You've got to create volunteer opportunities for people to begin. You've got to encourage involvement. And you have to have capable and committed leaders. My answer to that, if I were Chuck Hogan, would be Leadership Prince William, because you're doing it all. Congratulations. I wish I was that good. <laughs> Thank you, Hal, right on target with exactly what Leadership Prince William is all about. The enthusiasm you see in the room is contagious after experiencing the program and understanding what it's all about. And the class of 2017 is about to embark on that journey and join us at the end of the year as alumni. So once, once again, welcome the class of 2017. I just want to take a minute to uh, Mention our sponsors, Micron Technology, Youth for Tomorrow, Whitlock Wealth Management, Compton and Dueling, Impacto Youth, Centera Healthcare, Didlake Incorporated, Imagine, and Prince William Living. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the turnout today. It's just a wonderful to see all the alumni here, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at all the events this year that Leadership Prince William hosts. Thank you so much.